Have I talked about how much I love clone troopers before on my YouTube channel yet? I'm pretty sure I have. Hey guys, how you feeling? You got the King Games 98 here. And if you watched the video before this, my unboxing of the child Black Series figure, then you'll have already known that I got my Clone Commander Bly Black Series figure and that this was inevitable and most likely going to be my next Black Series uh, unboxing, my next Black Series figure unboxing video. Blah. And on top of that, if you follow me on Twitter, I made a tweet earlier this week saying that I am going to be unboxing these two Black Series figures on my channel. Videos will be up on my channel this weekend. So there you go. Uh, but yeah, I don't think that's anything new. I absolutely love clone troopers. I don't really know, well, okay, I guess I shouldn't say just clone troopers. I like clone troopers and storm troopers. I think they're all pretty cool, but between the two, I prefer clone troopers just a little bit more than storm troopers. I don't know what it is. I guess between the armors, the armor colors, you know, you got the Phase 1 and Phase 2 Clone Trooper armors. You got the Arc Trooper armors. You got the you got the Commander, uh, Clone Trooper Commander armors. You know, just just all the all the cool variations. And then on top of that, you know, with the different variations of the Clone Trooper armor, you got the different colored markings on them. You got the different insignias. You know, for Clone Commander Wolf, he's got a wolf on his. Uh, a wolf's face, I guess it's supposed to be, on his actual freaking helmet. I think that looks so cool. And then, you know, you got the wolf pack of clone troopers, you know, the clone troopers in his squad. They all got, you know, wolf uh, faces on their helmets. It's cool things like that that I love about clone troopers. Now, as far as clone troopers... Uh, as far as clone troopers in Star Wars The Black Series figures go, I don't have a lot. And when I say I don't have a lot, I mean I literally only own Clone Commander Fox. <laughs> That's it. Um, I have some clone troopers in the uh, 3.75 inch line. But those are obviously not Black Series figures because Black Series figures are 6 inch uh, action figures. So, of course, when I heard and found out from the YouTuber Usual Mike that Clone Commander Bly was finally getting a Black Series action figure release, I was like, dude, that's awesome. Wow. I gotta, I gotta get my hands on one. I, I, I just gotta make sure I get one. You know, Clone Commander Bly isn't really necessarily one of my favorite clone troopers, but I still think he is cool, and he played a pretty significant role in uh, Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith when good old Order 66 came along. He straight up shot and killed the Jedi Master, Ayla Sakura. So, yeah, he's kind of known for that <laughs> other than that i really don't know i really other than that i really don't know what else you could say he's known for um i gotta be honest with you guys after order 66 happened in uh episode three revenge of the sith i don't i don't even know what 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 happened to commander bly after that i don't i don't, you know you, you see the scene where he's shooting and kills ayla sakura literally uh, Commander Bly is standing behind Ayla Sakura and literally shoots her in her back and kills her. And then his whole squadron then follows and proceeds to sh keep, repeatedly keep shooting and killing her. Uh, so yeah, I don't, I don't really know off the top of my head what happens to him after that, but yeah. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to stop rambling and get to the actual unboxing. So, like I said, uh, I picked up my Clone Commander Bly Star Wars Black Series action figure this past Monday with my good friend Tyler 
aka Mr. Game and Squatch, along with the uh, Star Wars The Black Series The Child action figure from The Mandalorian, uh, because I pre-ordered both. And then unexpectedly, I ended up buying, uh, along with picking up these two, the uh, Star Wars The Black Series Archive Luke Skywalker X-Wing pilot uh, uniform action figure, which is a really nice and highly detailed action figure, and seriously, every time I look at that, like, it's just a spitting image of Mark Hamill to me. Uh, anywho, so yeah, let's, let's get to the actual unboxing. So, this is obviously the front. Uh, now I will say that I love that picture of Bly right there. I think that's really cool. And then on top of that, we're going to zoom in a little bit here. And then it's going to be a little hard to see with the plastic. Well, with the figure still in the box and, the, you know, plastic around him. I love how freaking highly detailed his helmet is. And I also love that they included that visor on his helmet there. Yeah, that. I know it has an actual name. It might be called Range Visor. I'm I'm really not sure off the top of my head, but still I love that they included that visor there. Because at least, you know, in Star Wars the Clone Wars, when clone troopers wore that and they put it down in front of them, it it I think let them look a lot farther ahead and or uh if it was really dark it might have let them see in uh Nighttime, so infrared. I don't know. But regardless, I love how detailed his helmet is, and I love that they included that visor on his helmet. And then, you know, looking at the rest of his armor, I love it. I love how freaking detailed that is. I love, you know, his arms. I love that he's got that little chest plate. Um... I don't know what that's called either, but, uh thing that Captain Rex also wears. I love that he's got the little shoulder thing, and I love that he's got the other shoulder thing on the left side of his arm that's actually longer than the one on his right shoulder is. Honestly, overall, I really like the colors, the two different colors. Well, the two primary, the two primarily different colors on the Clone Commander Bly figure, which is that brown and like that mustard yellow looking color. I love that. I think that looks freaking fantastic on him. And most importantly, that's how he looked in Revenge of the Sith. Okay, so this is obviously the front of the box. We got the side, Clone Commander Bly, uh, Star Wars Black Series figure number 104. We have the back. And then the little brief description it gives uh, reads, Clone Commander Bly, a, v a veteran of many Clone Wars battles, Clone Commander Bly, in parentheses, clone designation CC-5052, in parentheses, served in the 327th Star Corps on such worlds as, I'm probably going to butcher at least the first two uh, planets, the third I know how to pronounce, Quell? Maradun, and Felucia. And, unfortunately, that is where he shot and killed Jedi Master Ayla Sakura on Felucia in Revenge of the Sith. So that was the back of the box. Then we got the right side of the box. We got the top, the little plastic hang tab. We have two pieces of tape here holding the top part down, sealing it. We have the bottom, which has just one piece right there. And yeah, uh, okay, so before I actually unbox this action figure and uh, cut the pieces of tape and take them out of the box, I just wanted to real quickly mention that this specific Black Series figure was... Hold on.
Okay. Um, so what I wanted to just real quickly mention was how much I spent on the figure. And uh, mind you, I pre-ordered the figure way back when, so I paid GameStop retail price for it, not online eBay, Amazon prices for this figure. So... I'm not entirely sure what to say I spent on this figure because I'm looking at a couple of the GameStop receipts that I have from it. Okay. So I'm I'm just gonna say that I spent nineteen ninety nine, so twenty bucks on it, and then with tax it came to like twenty two dollars and ninety nine cents, twenty three dollars and ninety nine cents. So with tax I spent around twenty three, twenty four dollars on this figure, we'll say. Uh roughly about. Uh, okay, so now we're going to get to the actual unboxing. So we're going to cut these two pieces of tape here. Huh. Okay, so right off the bat, I noticed this. Now, with the Star Wars Black Series Clone Commander Fox action figure, Hasbro included three different types of uh, guns with that one Black Series figure. So I was curious right off the bat to see how many guns they would include with the Clone Commander Bly figure. And I'm seeing only two. This, like, long-range rifle gun. And then in his two little uh, gun holsters on each of his sides, he has uh, those, what are they called, those pistols? DC... DC-17s or DC-19 pistols, whatever. The same guns that Captain Rex uses in his holsters. So he only, so Clone Commander Bly only comes with two Bly, uh, two guns, which is which is fine. I, I I think that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Honestly, I was surprised that Clone Commander Fox uh, came with three different types of guns, but that's okay. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Wow. I love how highly detailed this freaking rifle gun is. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, Clone Commander Bly safely got out of the plastic packaging without getting broken or ruined. Yay. Huh. Well, I dig that. I really am digging this figure. This is this is really freaking cool. Just first impressions out of the box. Wow. This is really freaking cool. I love how cool he looks. With his visor down, let's get a, a close-up shot on that. Yeah. I mean, really, you could leave the visor on his helmet up and he looks freaking cool. Or you could put it down, like it make him look that he's look like he's looking through it. That even looks cool, too. This is, wow, this is just a really cool freaking action figure. So, so... Uh, we'll do the front of him. Left side. Right side. 
I like that this is actual fabric and cloth material. I think that's really cool. Right side. And I could do top and bottom. Okay. I okay, let's let's see how how easy and freely does his arms move and bend. Okay, well, that looks like it bends pretty easily freely to me. His hand moves good. Now, obviously, his right arm is going to move higher up than his left arm because you've got this shoulder uh, patch kind of sticking out more than that one is, and it's kind of blocking or more like restricting his left arm from moving higher up. So that's not really a problem to me, but, you know, just know that going into if you do buy this specific Black Series figure. Well, at least unlike the child Mandalorian, black, uh, at least unlike the child Black Series figure from the Mandalorian, at least his command, Clone Commander Bly's arms aren't popping out or breaking off, I should say, really easily like that figure's was. Oh my god, that was, that was just a freaking nightmare. I am noticing one thing, though, out of the box. Uh, my brand new Clone Commander Bly Black Series figure, his left leg seems like it seems way too loose than it should be. Yeah, you you guys hear that noise, right? Yeah, that's coming from his left leg, freaking being way too wobbly. I mean, that kind of sucks, but you know what? Then again, that really can't be helped, and beggars can't be choosers. And if you didn't notice, the box, the outer, uh, the outside of the box has some, like, damage to it, too. I mean, it's not, it's not really bad. Here, I'll show it. It's just like right, that right there kind of had some damage to it, and so... By that, I was kind of like, well, since it has some damage to it, I might as well just open it anyway. I mean, I was I was kind of planning to open this figure regardless, so I was like, screw it. <laughs> Alright, well, his legs and knee joints bend and move pretty freely. I like that. Okay, well, I think that's pretty much going to do it for this Clone Commander Bly Black Series action figure unboxing first impressions video. So, what are my final thoughts about the Clone Commander Bly Black Series figure uh, that I bought? Well, first off, I love it. I absolutely freaking love it. And quite frankly, I'm just glad that mine finally came to the GameStop that I pre-ordered it at. And I got it safely, and, you know, it wasn't a waste of money. <laughs> um, visually, I absolutely love how this, excuse me, Black Series figure looks. It looks fan-friggin-tastic, and it looks so movie-accurate to how uh, Commander Bly looks in Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. So I absolutely love that. Um, 
really, I can't say anything bad about this action figure other than I don't like how loose his left leg is and how easily it moves and, you know, it, it's... It moves way too much because it seems like it's a little loose, and I don't know why that is, especially since it was brand new and I just opened it out of the box and it was like that. That kind of sucks, but oh well. Hey, what are you going to do? You know, I, you know, I, I, like I said, I'm just glad that I got this figure. I'm not going to bitch and complain to Hasbro about it because you know what, with the whole COVID-19 you know, and coronavirus going on right now, they're getting, they're not producing as many figures as they once were, and their business is, you know, production is slowing down. So, again, I'm just glad that I got mine, and that I have it, and, you know, I can now proudly display him in my nerd cave, and he'll look great. Uh, so really, other than his left leg seeming loose and moving way too much. I absolutely freaking love this figure. This figure is awesome. It is highly detailed and it is very movie accurate. Alright guys, so that's going to do it for my Star Wars The Black Series Clone Commander Bly action figure unboxing and first impressions video. So, what did you think of this Star Wars Black Series figure just by looking at him in my video? Did you think he looks great and badass and looks movie accurate as I do? Or, you know, maybe not. And you don't like how he looks. I don't know. Let me know in the comments section down below, though, regardless. And let me know also if you bought or pre-ordered the Star Wars Black Series Clone Commander Bly figure and, how's, and how yours turned out. And especially... Because I don't know if this is true or not, but I heard from the YouTuber, Usual Mike, that there are two different variations of this Black Series Clone Commander Bly action figure. We have the one that I have, and then there's apparently a second variation uh, with, these, with this brown stripe right here. Yeah, it continues down his helmet to, like, right there. So, like... This brown stripe continues to the edge of his helmet. That's apparently a second uh, variation of this figure. Uh, now, before I recorded this uh, video, I was looking around eBay to see what this specific Black Series figure was going for. And just about every single listing that I looked at, uh, Clone Commander Bly's helmet looks exactly how mine does. So, I actually had a hard time finding a Clone Commander Bly Black Series figure that continued that brown stripe down to the chin of his helmet. So, I don't even know if that's true now or what, if it was just a hoax or what. I mean, I don't I don't really think it would be a hoax because uh, Usual Mike talked about it in one of his videos and, you know, I'm 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 not saying everything he says is is true and accurate, but he's a pretty good source. When it comes to the Star Wars uh, toy collecting scene. Okay guys. So. I'm I'm really glad. And I'm really glad. And I freaking love my Clone Commander Bly Star Wars Black Series figure. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video.